All right, it's poor day. Me and Shane just arrived on the job site. It's about 6.30 in the morning. Concrete's not gonna be here till about 7.30. All we're gonna do right now is just unpack some tools and uh, just get ready for the pour. Got a little bit of time. Uh, morning. Morning. What's going on, Enrique? Check it out, yeah. new bowl float. Oh, man. Fantastic. One Check person. it out. Okay, cool. Yeah, I thought so. I was like, I was like, I think this is Tyler's. The way it will. Check it out. They got this rocket handle. It like twists. Oh, for this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. better. Yeah. Those ones are way better. That's what I was thinking. You can get them from anywhere, anywhere you know? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Okay, this is my store. Bueno. Bueno dias. Oh yeah, I just brought that so I can put the uh, all this stuff on real quick. I want, I want to break this puppy in today. Yeah, we get for sure use that today. Uh, these are the new two trials I got for myself. The little fiberglass resin float. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got one of those. Yeah, this one looks pretty nice. And then a new pool trial. Oh, nice. My pool trial kind of tiny, so I got a little bit of a bigger one. Oh, that's perfect, dude. Check it out. These are expensive. $45 for this one, $45 for that one. Or no, 45 for this one, 30 for that one. Dang. I know, right? That's why. Yeah, I mean, look at the size difference. Oh yeah. Yeah, you got a little bit bigger. Yeah, yeah. this one, this one's, uh, this one's for you, Shane. Now. That's a good one, still, right? Yeah, this one's so good. It's a Marshalltown, it's so good. But uh, yeah, this one, just too small. This small. So I think it's perfecto for you, Shane. Hey, so I check it out. What, what else I got? Oh. Yeah, dude, I got the concrete finishing shoes. How much Ninety. Yeah, but I think they're gonna be worth it long term. You just put your big boots in here, right? Yep. Just put them in. Nice. Yeah. You, want, you need to mark these up, dude. So I'm taking. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to. I got spray paint. I'm gonna spray paint everything right now. <clears throat> yeah, that, that makes it so much better when you can walk out there and get like the fine details at the end, especially on stamp jobs. Basically, anything like purple, light purple, it's gonna be ours. So I'm just marking up all the tools right now because since there's so many finishers always on these job sites, we don't want to mix up any tools. Because these finishing trials are very expensive. Yeah, these ones are kind of old, but they can be restored. Uh, they did a big driveway just them two the other day. Nah. -uh. Yeah. Only Luis, I mean. No way. No, no bad. It's a, little, it's a little rough though, bro. But he used the Home Depot, bro. Mm -hmm. Yesterday? No, the Saturday. Oh, Saturday. Oh, shit. Just you and Luis? Yes. Seriously? Serious. You guys did all that by yourself? What? Do you guys, you guys didn't do the demo though, the forum set? No, 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 other guys demo. Oh, they yeah. called you in to finish? Only finish it and put Oh, the shit, dude. Summer. Oh my god. Tired, huh? Yeah, tired. <laughs> it's good. I like it. Yeah, it's gonna be easy. Oh, yeah. What are those, though? They go oh. over the form, right? Like wherever oh, your hose is running? For the hose. Is this from Hose Caddy? From, yeah, Pumper Caddy. Oh, Pumper Caddy. And then, like, you don't damage ruining your forms. Yeah, we could use them. Why not? The nozzle, but yeah, yeah the nozzle, no, but this oil, no, no spray. Yeah. It's too thick of oil, huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yo he chequeado everything, no have a plastic, nothing. Uh -huh. Denazos. No, pero sí sale. Ya, yeah. mire, one sponge. Una esponja, fíjate si no tenemos una esponja. Yeah, this thing is not coming out very good at all. Sí, abre, open a little more. Maybe open a little more, but then mire, one sponge. The concrete pump is here. All of our finishers are here. The driveway is all set up, ready to go. We are, we have all the forms oiled up. Concrete should be here in the next, probably 20 minutes or so. Check it out guys, we got the pumper caddy in action. These guys sent us this uh, product, they wanted us to try it out. I, it's been a couple months, but I figured I'd try them out today. So let's see how they do. When did they send them to you? couple months back we'll uh, give you guys an honest review though let you know how they work you guys want them to put more water no okay. no you want only only meat yeah, yeah, you want to mix it up yeah, yeah. Mix it up it's just chunkier. Yeah, yeah, it's chunky. going on everybody Tim Odell here with Oduckably Concrete as you can see we are now pumping out this job it is about 14 yards 13 to 14 yards we got a pea gravel mix and a 3000 psi we got all of our in-house crew here with a couple extra finishers about three four extra finishers I believe so we got plenty of finishers here and as you can see we're breaking in that brand new wooden bowl flow right now. Yeah, it's not too much. Can you try it? Yep. See how it's feeling. Oh yeah, feels nice. So we're just breaking in that brand new bowl flow and pouring out the backyard patio slab. And if you haven't seen part one, definitely go back and check out part one. It shows you the whole demo and forming setup process. In the backyard, you can see the two by fours in between all the slabs. And the reason for that is because we are going to be putting decorative rock in between. It's going to be a nice black pebble. Now here we are going down the side yard, pouring out all these little concrete stepping stones. And then we're going to be putting rocks on the sides and in between. I couldn't set the time lapse camera up on the side yard due to lack of space. But here we are now just pouring out the front driveway section. So this mix of the box was pretty chunky and you can tell from when they were screening the concrete all the little holes in this mix it's not a full creamy mix like that like this is creamy right here and then you can see chunks that just weren't mixed up very well in the concrete truck not a big deal though i mean we just gotta work a little bit harder to knock down all those and mix it up ourselves as we're bowl floating but I 
just don't think it's the best mix. I just see when he went over that. Yeah. That's why he's going on the shovel, filling in those extra areas, trying to bring up some cream for us, and we're gonna bulk float those sections in. See how Tyler's vibrating the surface a little bit? That helps bring the cream up a little bit better. So if you guys can see, as I'm both floating this way, I'm exposing the low spots and Tyler's filling it up for me. Another very important thing guys too, if you can tell there's a lot of bleed water coming up right now, a lot of bleed water. So you never want to hit this with steel trowels until a lot of this bleed water uh, evaporates, comes out of the concrete. You don't want to get that water trapped in the surface. A lot of guys start hitting with steel trowels right away, which is not really what you want to do. You want to just keep going over with your bull float, get that surface nice and flat. Because once you start hitting with some uh, steel trowels, the steel trowels aren't going to expose the unleveled surface. They're just going to seal it up and just go right over the bumps. They're going to flow with it basically. Yeah, you can see how wet it is right here. Look at that. Good puddle. So since a lot of this area is uh, in the shade, we're most likely going to be finishing out the front of the driveway first. I'm going to grab a little bit of this concrete where I can and get this all out. Yeah, it's good to be able to strip all the concrete out between the forms because if you just left it there, what's gonna happen is it's gonna get rock solid and once you try stripping out your two by fours, it's gonna be a very, very time consuming process. Yeah, five inch gaps are the best because it leaves just enough for your margin trowel to be able to get in between. Those are huge. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think guys? Eight inch caps or five inch? Tyler's thinking five or eight is better. Them a couple times it's pretty good. So because how saturated the soil was from the first video, if you guys saw the first video, the pool guy ended up flooding this guy's backyard and 
really saturated the soil so we did wait a couple days but even though we did wait a couple days the soil was still saturated and you can see the bleed water coming up from the concrete so all we did was we just kept hitting these this backyard with a wooden bowl flow and doing a little bit of edging the front yard driveway was actually where we were getting some good sun and where it was actually going off a little bit better than this back Those driveways are getting pretty hard now. We've gone over this driveway quite a few times with the, the wooden bowl flow. So this is nice and level now. Now we're hitting it with our steel Fresno, sealing the surface. Plus with the sun out here, it's really drying it up a lot faster. So right here I'm just trying to get into this trash bag where we have some leftover concrete because as I was hitting it with this still Fresno it did expose a little bit of a, a low spot so I want to make sure to fill that in All before right. keep going over it. Oh yeah. Ooh baby love your way. Now I need a, I need that freaking bowl float. I'm just hitting everything. Yeah, it's starting to. You know, woody, a woody bowl float. So I can hit that, make sure it's perfect, you know? Yeah, now it's better, huh? I was going to use a wooden bowl float to go over that little concrete slide right there, but I ended up just using my little hand float, and that worked just as well before going over it with the steel trowel. Eric's hungry, dude. <laughs> hey, I like that. I agree. I'm always hungry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Shane knows that pain a little too well, huh? Yeah, I didn't say anything. Uh, you want to hit that with the Fresno real quick, this one? This one? We're about to order some pizza right now. All the guys were pretty hungry, so we got little Caesars coming in soon, but they're not open just yet. Plus, we kind of figured it was going to be a long day because the backyard slabs are drying very slow, so that would be a good time to eat. Oh, there. Can I get some of those? Thank you. Oh, right. oh. Thanks, man. Oh, you got a, you got a funk bow now. No. You want me to break it in for you? <laughs> I already used it. Oh, man. It's so good, man. I love it. A lot bigger than mine. No. Jeez. Girls must go crazy, huh? Not bad, what did you get? Uh, what is it? 
Oh. The one right there in. Yeah, those are nice. Even I was getting pretty hungry, so I had to steal a couple of Eric sunflower seeds, get the barbecue flavor. So those ones are pretty tasty. And I think Tyler actually did leave now to go get the Little Caesars pizza, and we got some crazy bread coming as well. Little Caesars is pretty good. Uh, I haven't had that in a long time, but uh, yeah, I never really liked it until after today. Actually, it was pretty good. All right, Tyler just arrived back with the pizza. Got, got the pizza for the boys. Got us some crazy bread. What'd you get in? Some crazy bread. Heck yeah. Some crazy. Oh yeah. They call me crazy. I'm almost done with the front. But the back is super wet still. Is it? Yeah. Um, probably gonna be there an extra two hours in the back. Yeah, Eric's thinking four o'clock. Four? No way. Two and a half. So Tali got the pizza, and I got the waters. Perfect combo. Agua. Put these right here. Oh, we even got wings. Wow. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in on that pizza and crazy bed. Huh? <laughs> got that shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll be a nice tummy. That's thumbnails action, dude. How much do I owe you, Tyler? Mm. I don't know how we're splitting it. We got there, dude. Butter garlic. You want some? Yeah, I'm just gonna try that out. It's pretty bomb, dude. Alright, I'm ready to rock and roll. Yeah, no problem, dude. Thank you for finishing. Uh, oh, you can smell it, huh? Que paso? Yeah, so after a couple of pizzas and crazy bread, I was ready to go, get down on the slab, and this is actually going to be our last pass before we start to do the broom finish. The only thing we had to wait for is the side yards and the backyard. And so for the broom finish, we did break out your guys' favorites, the 50-50. 50% nylon, 50% horsehair. Should make a t shirt out of that saying. And look at that boom finish, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful strokes. Hey! Getting it on, baby. <laughs> I'm nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's getting used to the camera. I'm getting used to it. How's it feel out there, Shane? It's going off. Working what do you think it. about that finish you just did there? I mean, it's not 100%. Could be better. You know how to fix that? This right here, maybe like less that, yeah. more flat. More flat and a lot flat. of pressure. Yeah, a pretty lot pretty of hard. pressure. That's the only way you're gonna get through it at this point because this stuff's going off. It's got direct sunlight, you know, this 
thing is almost yeah. rock solid. It's ready you to be broom. This is it. You just do a lot of pressure and then it's troweling. Lots of troweling. Oh yeah. Yeah, you see that thing? Covering yeah. up all those holes. Yeah. Gotta put a lot of pressure down there to get it nice. Right there. Yeah. No, you're right, dude. Yeah, what I've noticed is any guys doing concrete work have massive forearms. If they're doing concrete work every day and all they are are finishers, they got some beefy forearms like Popeye. So yeah, like I am saying, was saying though, this is our last pass in the front. We're going to just broom it out, give it that nice light textured broom finish so no one slips on the concrete when it's wet because if you don't broom it, and it rains or it gets wet or anything like that and you try walking on your concrete you will slip it gets very slippery and then as we were waiting for the side yard and backyard to dry we did have a little fun friendly competition between Shane and Louise to do a little bit of finisher practicing alright we're sitting our top contenders against one another Shane and Louise down the side yard first to finish there's about four slabs each. First to finish, gets finisher pay. He'll smoke you like Mary Jane. Oh, he did. He will. the pizza inside. You're going to double your money today, Shane. Double it, baby. I know, Shane. Damn, you're so close to my face. Fancy you see my nose hairs? <laughs> <laughs> it's like five feet of his hair. Shane! I kind of see fear in your eyes. Yeah, Shane. Come on, Shane. Here, use my tools. Shane doesn't want my tools. $50. Here, use my bill. I don't like Oh, there we go. <laughs> Look, Luis is ready. Luis is ready, dude. You gotta. Don't let Luis outshine you, dude. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, edge it and then hit it with the trial. Yeah. Edge it first and then trial it. Yeah, I'm expecting to lose the race. But, edge, but edge when it comes to like efficiency perfection, I'm like OCD. I'm like, I'll sit there for too long. You have to edge every single side of it and then trial the middle yeah. and move on to the next one. Yeah. So basically, edge everything and then game plan. Yeah. Game plan, baby. Come on, Shane. Let's get it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get him hyped. Race. Get him dunking in. We'll oh, dude. Eric's something. giving you a good edger as well. Get him, baby. Let's go. Dude, get out there before Luis gets out there. You can do it, Shane. If you're losing, just, just kick Luis. <laughs> <laughs> we're going we're gonna to be judging on finish quality and time. Finish quality Kick is off. the I biggest don't even thing. I not care about time. I'm just going to finish quality. Just afflict some concrete in his eye. Oh. <laughs> oh. Dude, I've actually gotten concrete in my eye. That shit stings. Oh, dude, Luis is trying to get a head start to get in there. Luis is already checking his field. <laughs> See, the... take the side that the guy already finished. Yeah. <laughs> you got only one? Oh, I thought we were doing all eight. <laughs> Just one. Just one. Wait, wait, wait. We have to set go. Okay. Wait, are we gonna are we gonna set a timer? Are we gonna set a timer? One minute, huh? one, minute. One, minute. One, minute. one minute one minute and we'll see who did a better finish all right three two one go <laughs> shane i got 12 11 so 12 12. come on guys you got 20 seconds 20 segundos oh shit let me get this let me get some close-ups going on Oh! Louise! Oh, He's already got his edges in! <laughs> Shane following that close second. Oh man, he's already starting to hit the trowel. He's already doing the trowel action. Louise can see the Luis is AKA Power Trial. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, what we got going on over here, though? Wait, what do you mean, Luis? Luis, that thing, that song is already finished. He's got a second pass already in chain. This competition's looking stiff. That's like comparing me with Timmy, dude. Y'all been doing this too long. <laughs> You're like picking on a freshman. 
<laughs> We're initiating you. I'm a fresh meat. Like into a frat, but for concrete. I'm only two years old. <laughs> Next thing we gotta do is bring in the judges on the squares and just see who's got the clean. <laughs> Luis, ¿qué pasó? Nada. Dígale el número uno. No, soy vamos. Dígale el número uno. Dígale el número uno. Dígale el número uno. Dígale el número uno. No, no, todavía no. Número uno. Todavía no. De cámara. Número uno. Y then Shane dice número dos. Ahí vamos, Shane. No te preocupes, Shane. No, no, no. Ah, poco a poquito, Shane. Ahí vamos, mira. The race, I think, has been concluded. Winner. But hey, you know what? If we're going off the finish, let's see. Let's see. Okay, guys, let's get some opinions. This is the slab that Luis just hit. It's looking a little ripply, to be honest. <laughs> you see these ripples? I don't know. I don't know. Here we go. Check this out. Check this one out on Shane's side. Yes, he was slower, but I mean, I don't see any ripples. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's my first day. I don't know. We, I think we got to get all judges in here and really settle the debate. Well, you know what the difference is? Luis is using a full trough. Luis? And Using, uh, That's true. Right? Well, actually, the square trial is going to give you a better finish. It will. But I'm not, I'm once it's harder. Like he would have to go See like how he kind of has like ripples in his finish? Yeah, you don't would. have that. Because he would have to go like this, right? So honestly, dude, if I had a pick, you know, I think your slab came out better, dude. <laughs> I told him going for a fish and I was speed. I knew I was going to lose. Maybe you, you, you lost the race, but you, but you won the hearts. Of everyone. Aww, thank you. <laughs> well, YouTube, hopefully you don't uh, call it too hard, but yeah, you subscribe and leave a comment. Oh yeah. Like, share, subscribe. <laughs> like, share, subscribe. All right, so I do think that was a pretty close competition right there. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys to comment down below. Let us know who you think really took that home. Was it Shane? Or Luis. Luis may have been quicker, but I do think his wasn't exactly the finest finish. Shane might have been slower, but I think his was a little bit nicer. You guys decide. Let us know. And so, as we were just waiting for the side yard and backyard to stiffen up, I believe we waited about an extra hour before we could actually start brooming the backyard. Maybe it was an hour and a half can't quite remember but I do know that this backyard dried very slow all right so here we are the day after the pour actually one extra day after the pour we wanted to wait one more day just because we wanted to make sure as all the guys are walking over and we're gonna be putting rocks in between we really don't don't uh, damage the surface of the concrete that's like a really nice we're gonna be putting black rock all throughout these little gaps. Check it out. This is the rock we're gonna be using. Mucho besos para ti. So here's the side yard. How we're looking. Everything's looking really nice. The only thing is that this tree is dropping a lot of fruit or berries on top of the concrete right here. So I'm going to make sure to get all that off. But yeah, I mean, it's looking really good. Very clean. Very, very nice. So the last thing we did on the job was to strip all the lumber, cleaned out all of the gaps we put weed fabric down in between all of the gaps to prevent any weeds from growing up through our decorative rock we actually did have a little stub out of a irrigation pipe in the front too just in case the homeowner ever wanted to take the rocks out and put plants in between he has the option 
We actually did fill up some of the gaps with three quarter inch rock as well and compacted it. And then we put the weed fabric down in between. And that basically wraps up this job, guys. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed the two part series. If you haven't seen part one, make sure to go back and check that out. Also, don't forget to leave us a like, share, and uh, subscribe. Comment any questions you may have. And stay tuned for more Odell Complete Concrete videos. Alright guys, have a good one.